Worst is first, dude. Worst is first. What are you talking about, man? The drive through may be a lifesaver on a busy morning, but sometimes you drive away disappointed. These are the 10 worst fast food breakfasts you need to stay away from. Subway Egg and Cheese Sidekick. Eat fresh. Now, what does that make you think of? Subway sandwiches, yep. Whoever came up with Subway's egg and cheese sidekick clearly wasn't even trying. This recipe feels so uninspired that you could probably just make it at home in about the same amount of time it would take to order it. The egg and cheese sidekick is made from little more than a rubbery and flavorless egg patty with a single slice of white cheddar cheese laid upon it, served up on a lightly toasted potato bun. So very, very easy. Subway's breakfast eggs tend to be below average anyway, and so you you would probably be better off starting your day off at another fast food chain altogether. And it isn't only the eggs that tend to be substandard on Subway's breakfast menu. Their bacon tends to be more chewy than it is crispy, while the steak in their steak egg and cheese sandwich is just a little bit too fatty to be all that enjoyable. Although we should give Subway a little bit of leeway, as they really haven't been serving breakfast as long as some other fast food chains have been. In fact, it took them 45 five years from the day that Subway first opened their doors for the chain to even begin offering breakfast as a regular part of their menu back in 2010. And yet, considering the state of their breakfast menu, we aren't quite sure that this sandwich chain has mastered it yet. McDonald's Sausage Burrito It's not that burrito. It's just burrito. McDonald's first introduced their sausage burrito onto their breakfast menu back in 1991. And even after all this time, it still continues to be among the most underwhelming options that the mega chain offers. McDonald's may have earned a reputation for having some of the best fast food breakfast items around, but don't be fooled. Not everything that they serve is worth your time. Wrapped in a soft flour tortilla, McDonald's sausage burrito comes filled with scrambled eggs, pork sausage, green chilies, onions, and a single slice of cheddar cheese. That may not sound all too bad on the surface, but the biggest problem with this burrito is simply the amount of pepper that McDonald's chooses to season it with. Taking a bite out of their sausage burrito feels almost like the equivalent of taking a huge mouthful of freshly ground pepper. And it's also worth mentioning that the scrambled eggs in this burrito tend to come out a little bit more on the runny side. The tortilla is unironically the best part of their sausage burrito. So if you're planning on ordering your breakfast from McDonald's, we'd recommend ordering their sausage McMuffin with egg instead. Burger King Bacon Sausage and Ham Fully Loaded Biscuit You want a biscuit? If you've ever struggled to decide on your preferred source of protein to start your day, then Burger King's bacon, sausage, and ham fully loaded biscuit may seem like a good idea on the surface. This one stacks up a tower of eggs, sausage patty, cheddar cheese, deli ham, and bacon, all served between a dense and doughy biscuit. Many diners complain about how awkwardly these ingredients seem to be forced together, as none of these tastes actually seem to complement one another all that well. Bad combination. Burger King sausage patties are often found to be a little too salty, and when combined with so many other salty ingredients, you're simply left with a sandwich that tastes more like salt than anything else. But the worst part by far has to be the biscuit itself, which is so thick that it somewhat overpowers the taste of the entire sandwich. That would be fine if it was a delicious biscuit, but Burger King's biscuits are often far too dry to really prove all that satisfactory. And while munching on one of these biscuits will certainly leave you with a buttery aftertaste in your mouth, it tastes much more like an artificial butter substitute than it does the real deal. At the end of the day, there's simply nothing special about Burger King's bacon, sausage, and ham fully loaded biscuits that makes it worth ordering. So if you absolutely insist on ordering your breakfast from Burger King, we'd recommend opting for their croissantwich instead. Wendy's Maple Bacon Chicken Croissant Okay, croissant, sure. Wendy's has had something of a complicated history when it comes to serving breakfast. Their first attempt back in 1985 failed to garner enough hype for them to justify keeping it around, and their second launch of a breakfast menu in 2007 didn't manage to stick around all that long either. That makes their recent 2020 relaunch one to watch for sure, and while the majority of their breakfast menu has proven to be surprisingly popular, one item happens to stand out by a wide margin. 
Wendy's maple bacon chicken croissant was perhaps the most hyped up item by the fast food chain's marketing team, and yet an online poll suggests that as many as 3 out of 10 customers considered it to be their least favorite thing available on Wendy's breakfast menu. This is not good. No, come on, it's not good. The maple bacon chicken croissant consists of a fried chicken breast, applewood smoked bacon, and maple butter sandwiched between a flaky croissant bun. And yet many customers have complained that they find the whole thing to be a little too heavy for breakfast, and that it simply tastes like a more disappointing version of chicken and waffles. While the mix of smokiness and sweetness may be there, it simply doesn't have the proper texture that we've come to expect from these tastes. Taco Bell Hash Brown Toasted Breakfast Burrito They're toasted and melty. We may love our carbs, but is it possible to have too much of a good thing? Taco Bell's Hash Brown Toasted Breakfast Burrito doesn't think so, because it's doubling down on the amount of starchy goodness that we can possibly handle in a single sitting. Wrapped in a soft flour tortilla, this breakfast burrito is then filled with your choice of either bacon or sausage, some fairly uninspiring eggs, a three-cheese blend and a full hash brown that's just been sort of chopped up and shoved into your sandwich when it really doesn't feel as though it belongs. This dish might have been easily salvaged if the hash brown were at the very least well seasoned, but it's honestly fairly bland and contributes very little to the overall flavor of the burrito, meaning that you're pretty much left with these giant chunks of fried potato distributed throughout your burrito. Well, that is disgusting! While Taco Bell does add a small amount of pico sauce to the burrito, and you can even ask them to have it smothered in their gooey, warm cheese, it still isn't enough to liven up this bland, disappointing experience. Taco Bell only recently brought their breakfast burritos back in 2021, after first being removed from the menu in 2020 in an effort to simplify things. The relaunch included an appearance from Grammy Award-winning recording artist Lil Nas X, who was once a Taco Bell employee. Even with a celebrity seal of approval, many are not quite sure that this one should have been brought back in the first place. Jack in the Box Chicken Tater Melt if you've ever worked a job that required you to wake up in the wee hours of the morning, then you may just be familiar with the strange little concoction that is Jack in the Box Chicken Tater Melt. It was released as a replacement to Jack in the Box's breakfast item, the Brunch Burger. But while the Brunch Burger may have been delicious enough to justify getting up early for a taste of one, the Chicken Tater Melt will only give you a reason to keep hitting that snooze button. Not good enough. The chicken tater melt is made using a crispy chicken patty, a layer of bacon, another patty consisting of a hash brown topped with a melted blend of three cheeses and a smattering of ranch dressing, before all being served on a lightly toasted croissant. The hash brown overpowers the taste of the sandwich with its thickness, and none of the ingredients in the chicken tater melt are particularly well seasoned. All in all, it's simply a bland experience that fails to deliver the same flavorful punch as Jack in the Box's brunch burger. The chicken tater melt is a part of Jack in the Box's late night meal, meaning that you can find it available between the hours of 9 p.m. and 5 a.m. Otherwise, you can purchase one as part of a munchy meal. But don't say we didn't warn you about this one. Duncan's Wake Up Wrap Sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin's Wake Up Wraps may be simple, but they suffer from their use of some pretty bland ingredients. Although they're called wraps and they're made using a flour tortilla, the tortilla is folded over in the style of a taco, leaving these colorless and uninteresting ingredients on full display. The Wake Up Wraps are filled with your choice of protein as well as an egg and cheese. The cheese tastes overly processed and isn't nearly sharp enough to suit the taco vibe of the meal, and the egg Eggs and protein are just sort of lazily thrown in there so that it doesn't exactly distribute all that well between bites. It's a total mess! Many customers are put off by the unnatural shape of Duncan's eggs as well, as they seem just a little too perfectly formed to fit the shape of the taco. All in all, while the wake up wrap may be among the cheapest items on Duncan's menu, you'd probably be better off picking something else. Starbucks Kale and Portobello Mushroom Sous Vide Egg Bites. Uh, I'm going to Starbucks. 
Starbucks sous vide egg bites are usually among the most delicious options on their menu. These bite-sized omelets are made using light, fluffy eggs and plenty of fresh ingredients. Plus, not to mention warm, gooey cheese. It's hard to go wrong when ordering one. That is, unless you're ordering the kale and portobello mushroom sous vide egg bites. Kale is chock full of plenty of healthy nutrients filled to the brim with vitamin A, calcium, and much, much more. Mushrooms, meanwhile, have been proven to protect your brain's health while lowering your sodium count. And so we can definitely see why Starbucks would have thought to put these two nutrition superstars into one invigorating breakfast. But that doesn't mean that it was especially well executed. Not only poorly planned, it's horribly executed. The kale and mushroom are just kind of left in these big chunks throughout your egg bite, and there simply isn't enough flavor here to make it all that interesting. Not to mention, the kale and mushrooms leave you with this strange aftertaste that continues to linger on your tongue long after you've finished your breakfast. While they may still contain plenty of health benefits, we'd recommend choosing one of Starbucks' other flavors of sous vide egg bites instead. Taco Bell's Breakfast Crunch Wrap with Bacon Come on, man, I just wanted a breakfast crunch wrap. Taco Bell's Crunchwrap Supreme has proven to be among the most popular items on their menu, but when the fast food chain set their sights on reinventing the dish for breakfast, they wound up with a disappointing alter ego that was neither all that crunchy nor worthy of the name Supreme. Very disappointing. The breakfast crunch wrap with bacon is made using a mix of bacon bits, eggs, cheese, and a creamy jalapeno sauce, all placed upon a bed of thick, flavorless hash brown and wrapped up in a soft flat our tortilla. The hash brown makes for a poor replacement for the Crunchwrap Supreme's use of a tostada shell, which actually does provide the crunch that the dish's name promises. The hash brown, meanwhile, is soggy on account of the excessive moisture that's being trapped inside of that warm tortilla, so the whole thing very quickly turns into a soupy, ugly-looking mess on your plate. The bacon is incredibly rubbery and tough to chew, and it simply lacks that smoky flavor that you'd hope to find in a dish such as this. While Taco Bell's breakfast crunch wrap with sausage is slightly better than the version that comes with bacon on account of the thick hunk of meat provided by the sausage, it still suffers from many of the same texture problems as its twin. All in all, Taco Bell's breakfast crunch wraps might just be one thing you'll want to avoid altogether. IHOP's Southwest Chicken Burrito Safe burrito. Well, Eat it. When you can't quite decide between the tastes of lunch or breakfast, IHOP has decided to provide you with the strange compromise that is the Southwest Chicken Burrito. This massive flour tortilla wrap is stuffed full with a ton of ingredients. While the veggies are pretty clean and standard, you have your green bell peppers, onions, tomatoes, and avocado, this burrito is also a marriage between grilled chicken, queso sauce, shredded Monterey Jack and cheddar cheeses, as well as the energizing flavors of scrambled eggs, hickory smoked bacon, and hash browns. The problem with this breakfast item is clear right off the bat. It's simply too much. And not all of the flavors complement one another as well as many diners would have liked. While this idea could definitely still be salvaged simply by removing the hash browns, or perhaps one of the protein sources, as it is, it's just too heavy to make for a satisfactory beginning to your day. IHOP does offer their customers the option of ordering this as a Southwest chicken bowl rather than a burrito, which comes with all of the same filling ingredients but without the tortilla to wrap it up in. This option actually does work a little bit better as it gives you a little bit more control over what you want to place on your fork. But at the end of the day, you'd probably still be better off opting out and ordering something else. Stay right here and tap or click another great video. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.